Okay, hi, Bel Hassan. Couldn't you a little bit describe what you were talking about? So it should be like a short teaser for people to listen to your full speech. Okay, very good. So what uh, we have been talking about is SAS management platform, mm -hmm. so SAS management software. So it was mainly about uh, talking cloud, why go cloud, why go SAS, so software as a service, what are the advantages of that? but simultaneously to talk about the challenges, what are the, the problems there. And there are indeed several problems, especially the cost aspect, because people go to the cloud also because of cost, to save money, not to have huge invests at the beginning, but that if you don't take care of the cloud, how you are handling get how you are handling the license, so it becomes a problem. So you could be becoming spending yes. like 30% too much. Yes, yeah, I remember you like 35% or in, in the, the difference is 30%. Yeah, are wasted. Of the spendings in SAS are wasted. And how you find the event, for example, right now, or like, is there a, from 100 to 200 data centers in Africa? And uh, and of course, like your solution is important here, but once the quantity of data centers grows and the, uh, like, uh, and data just becomes bigger, is like the, I don't know, needs for your solution will be higher and higher, yes? Something? Yes, yes, indeed. So I think uh, such solutions are necessary everywhere on the different levels, on the SAS, on the IIS, on the PASS. But what we have done is we specialize on the SAS layer. So we are specialized on the software as a service. This means, uh, and specifically on the Microsoft 365. So what we handle, what we manage is the 365 environment. So in that case, so what we do is a little bit independent of the data centers, there's surely the relationship, but what we look is only at the software level. So we check only in parentheses how the software is used which licenses are used are not used in addition to further to further use cases but can you imagine like you can sort you can save 30 percent not with hardware but ever with like with like with uh, from the ear <laughs> like like cut, cutting costs from nowhere like you don't need to to like build smaller buildings or something like you just can exactly so, so it's just about usage and also there are analysis concerning the cloud usage in total where you can cut at best cost and indeed the application layer is where you can cast cut the cost is uh, also for the green part by the yeah. way for the green part you can save around 35 percent in the application layer because there the infrastructure is ready but it's about waste for example you store data that you don't use it costs money it creates carbon foot, increase yes, the yeah. carbon footprint risks, and that's where we try to, you know, to find which areas are used but they are not needed, and you can save money, reduce your carbon footprint, and also reduce the attack surface security-wise. And uh, you are quite a unique person because you have like good experience in Germany and also good experience here in Tunisia. And can you just compare education of of data centers, like how they save, how they use this uh, saving uh, methods, like in Germany? and here in Tunisia, like? So I think from, there are, if I try to put it maybe in three dimensions, so there's yes, the, okay. the cost dimension, there is the green IT dimension, yeah. and there is the security and the governance dimension. Okay. So cost-wise, I think it's uh, it's similar at the end of the day. So no one is willing to spend 30% uh, for, for nothing. Okay. So I think there, there are no, no difference, probably independent of some special area where money does not play a role, which is really an exception. Mm -hmm. Then concerning the security and the governance, probably in Germany, also in France, as we are active also in the company's mainly headquarters in France. So that, de that depends. Maybe in, uh, in Germany, in France, we take that point more seriously. And where we have the real difference is the green IT part. So there, because we have regulation, Lieferkettengesetz in Germany, there are rules in France, that's, that's a necessity in Europe. But in Tunisia, it's more about some companies which take this serious, and others which say, okay, we, we do have other priorities. Maybe that, that's the key difference. And uh, regarding the event, uh, just uh, what is your opinion about the event and about its influence and maybe uh, periodic events, how they can influence Africa in the future? I think it's, it's really great to meet to meet people from 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 everywhere, you know, to 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 have uh, networking, to learn about the technologies, to hear from the different perspective. Because I think that's that's an added value. So I think uh, also for me, I learned so much because you listen to to experts, and you can take many many learnings with you. So surely you will be present uh, next time. Okay, thank you. So see you next year, or maybe see you at Cloudfest, and then again here.
Exactly. Thank Good you. Good luck and have a nice flight. Thank you. Thank you.